Let's have some breakfast. Hello everybody, welcome to Wide World TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and guess what? It's my birthday. Hence, we are going to have birthday pancakes. This is how a Psalm eats breakfast. I've got the Untitled Art Black and Blue Chocolate Chip Pancake Stout. Are you freaking kidding me? With chocolate chip pancakes. Yeah, I know the, the, the glass is way too big, but it was for the uh, effect of that. I was trying the little, I guess it's called ASMR thing, a la Peter McKinnon. I have no idea how successful this worked out. But we're going to do a review of this beer and uh, the pancakes. Um, I don't have anything else about the beer. I just know it's from Untitled Art, and they're, I can't remember where they're out of. Um, let's see, take this little sticker off there, see if it tells me where they're from. Uh, artwork is by Rain Smith. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see the artwork on there. It's really cool. They always got, I mean, Untitled Art, they always have some really cool artsy uh, cans, and they seem to have always been putting stuff out. So let's see, let's just kind of read the stats on here real quick. Uh, it's 12 ounces, that's why it's only up to there. This is like a 20, 30 ounce mug or whatever. Uh, by the way, if you can find this still, I don't know if it'll still be available when you see this video. It probably will be. Uh, Paul Hunter makes a really cool uh, thing. It's, it's, it's legitimate glass, and you get a can of beer that basically fills the glass. Um, I think it's around 11 bucks, depending on where you buy it from, but it's a really good beer, and uh, you should try it. It comes out every year for Oktoberfest. That's what it's for. Now, this beer, this is what we're here for. Um, 12 fluid ounces is 9% alcohol, 9.0% alcohol to be precise. It is an imperial stout with blackberry and blueberry puree, uh, cocoa nibs, maple syrup, and milk sugar. Uh, brewed and canned by Untitled Art from Wanaki, Wisconsin. On uh, Wisconsin, on uh, Wisconsin, I don't know the rest. Anyway, um... I'm excited to try it. I've had other stuff from them and they've always pr produced some really cool beers. So I specifically bought this to do this. Not necessarily for my birthday, but it just worked out that it was my birthday. So you're watching this. It was a week ago today from you when you're watching this. I, I put out a little half episode. All right, well, let's, let's do the beer first. So actually I've had the beer and it's really delicious, but you know, this is only the only times I've, already had the product that I'm quote reviewing. So well, I am reviewing it, but so, I mean, everything that's listed in there, the black, the blue, so the black and blueberry, the chocolate, get a little vanilla in there. Um, the milk, you know, uh, milk sugar, but maple syrup, the cocoa, the black and blueberry stuff. I mean, it's all in there. I remember the first time I had it, it was a little bit of a coffee thing, which is normal for stout. And I really do not like coffee. But this is like the one thing that I will give an exception to with coffee is with stouts and porters. Because there's so much other stuff going on, I, I, I can ignore it. And not every stout or porter has a predominance of coffee. Sometimes it's not there at all. Sometimes it's a little bit. It's kind of like when I get that in wine. I'm kind of like, Ugh, you know, coffee, all right, fine, but there's enough other things going on. I can't. So don't go, well, Mark, you don't have enough milk and sugar in your coffee. It'll make it taste better. Have like a frappuccino or a cappuccino or no, 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 ma macchiato. Or, no, there is not enough milk and sugar to make coffee taste good to me. All right. So normally not 
Tiramisu is another one of those desserts that has coffee a lot of times in it because they put like a coffee liqueur in there and I tend to ignore it. So it's got to be that level. It's got to be so much of the other stuff that coffee is just an ingredient, not the main ingredient. All right. It is super tasty. I really don't get the coffee this time, but that maple syrup, maple syrup, you got that chocolate. Oh, the coffee's there now. Uh, you got that, got that, uh, like, you know, chocolate chip type of thing going on, the black and blue. The coffee got more on the back end of things. So, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I knew what it tasted like beforehand. There was enough going on here. Just to know, it really is the morning. Like, this clock is correct. It's all dusty as hell, but uh, it is. What, eight? I gotta actually know what the big and little hand do. It, it's freaking 8.40 in the morning. So it's not, this is not 8.40 at night. If it was, you wouldn't see the daylight behind me. Um, and I didn't adjust this. I just thought about that now. Like, how do you know it's really the morning? This is, you know, hey, it's what I do. All right, let's try out the pancakes. Now I had the blueberry pancakes from these guys. Um, back when we were supposed to do the original version of this, but somebody didn't realize I was going to film it and just started making pancakes. So I was like, well, we'll make the, we'll make this and then I'll buy the beer. Well, I actually had the beer back then. So these pancakes are a little bit different than the other ones. If I remember correctly, because these are keto and not that I'm eating keto. If I was, I wouldn't have just slattered with all that maple syrup. Plus, I mean, you can tell over the past couple of years I haven't been doing any keto. Not that I've done keto, but I've done low carb stuff. This has an this is um, almond flour. The other one's probably more regular flour, and it tasted good. These do have these these do have a different flavor to them. I like them. The um, the thing about this brand, and you saw the brand, I'll, I'll put the lower third, I don't remember what the brand is, um, is that these pancakes take actually a little while to cook. And if you saw in the video, um, during the flip, it kind of was like falling apart, but they take a little bit longer than say your standard, and even though, not just these, but the other ones too, a little bit longer than your standard pancake mix. But, it's all there. You got a kind of unique flavor that's really good with the almond flour. You got the chocolate. Put it together with this beer, it's like freaking heaven. It's like having French toast with French toast stout from a different beer company. I didn't do a video on that. Or did I? Yeah, I did. Anyway, I can't remember now. I know I had it. It was really good. So, yes, it literally is my birthday. It's Wednesday, September 8th. What year is it? 2021? I'll make 54 look good. And, um, yeah, this is how I'm starting my day. This is how I'm starting my, this is how I'm starting my, my birthday. Don't know what else is going to happen the rest of the day. Uh, I might actually go to study group today over at high street i told them if i'm coming i will be bringing a very special bottle or two of wine um i won't be driving there that's for sure and um yeah i don't know what the rest of the day has planned for me but i got a lot of editing to do and a lot of script editing to do so that's probably what most of my day and i got tomorrow off too i've been on a little bit of mini vacation go back to the day job on friday so hopefully by the time you've seen this the majority of well, all of my video work has been recorded for my Freestyle Fridays. You really should watch them. They should be really cool. You definitely should watch the Great California Cap Shootout videos, especially the one where I sit down and taste wines. Some surprises there. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to um, uh, do anything other than just kind of let you know I was in shock at the very end. Let's put it that way. I'm going to have a post-mortem of that inserted into that video because I definitely have some thoughts on why the wines flushed out the way they did. But you should definitely watch that. 
I don't want to put it out, but I'm going to put it out because I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going to be transparent. <laughs> anyway, so you should check that one out. Uh, all the free, free soft fries with all the farming practices and the wines we make from them. That's going to be so killer. Uh, the scripts are almost edited down to where they, I want it, not edited down, but edited. I've got a couple more to go through one more time just to make sure I got all my information, all my ducks in a row, my T's dotted, my I's crossed. No, the other way around. The I's dotted and the T's crossed. And uh, then I got to record all those videos and that's like about eight, eight or nine or 10 videos or 11. These 11 videos total. So I got to record those. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I've done all the recording and I'm in the middle of editing a lot of them. All right. That's going to do it for the show. Um... I'm going to eat my breakfast, <clears throat> clean up the thing, and um, enjoy the rest of my day. You should know the drill by now, but make sure you tell your friends about the best wine show anywhere. Make sure you click the like button and, and subscribe to the thing. And um, have some untitled art. It's really tasty. Oh, and the pancakes are really good too. Peace.